Today to submit bids for the Helmet Yan design building owned by the state of Illinois. We won't know the identities of the bidders until the winner is announced. That's expected to happen by the end of the year. IIT professor and former Sun-Times architecture critic Lee Bay joins us now to talk about the future of this iconic 17-story building in the loop. Lee, thanks for joining us. You, you don't want it shut down. You want it to be reused, right? You know, I do. Uh, I totally understand the state not wanting to reuse the building, uh, but as it offered the building for sale, uh, it would have been nice to have preservation listed as an option, given how good we are when we want to be in this city with preserving um, uh, interesting and, and historic buildings. Lee, you wrote an article um, very, very critical. You were very passionate about it, and I'm paraphrasing this on your May article, but you, you kind of said, what's next, starve rock and we're gonna put a condo <laughs> building on it? Uh, do you think this is gonna start a trend? You know, you know, that's a little bit of hyperbole, I must say, but you know, I, I don't think it'll start a trend because the state doesn't have you know, these many types of buildings in their inventory. Uh, but I think that making that comparison was just a way of sort of shaking up you know, uh, readers a little bit to show that this building is of importance and that we shouldn't cavalierly dis dis uh, uh, dismiss it just because of the past that it's had. Now, you talked with the late architect, Helmut Jan, I think 2016, and he his idea is to kind of reuse it in a way that you put building condos on the side of it and kind of use it because you've got four CTA lines going through there. It's going to be quite, uh, you know, quite a deal to get rid of it. You know, it really is. I mean, and, and keep in mind that if the building is demolished, they have to keep all those lines open. Right. Um, you know, some portion of the pedway open. I mean, so it's more than more than a notion, as my mother used to say, <laughs> to just sort of knock this building down and, and walk away from it. You know, Helmut's, Helmut's um, plan was absolutely right. It takes advantage of its, it would have taken advantage of its uh, key location in the middle of the city with those lines by adding more to it. You're right, condos to the southwest connected to the building and then reusing that beautiful atrium on the inside for some other kind of use. All right, Lee, on the other side, though, they uh, it has certainly had its issues since it has been around. You know, it, it really has. I mean, as a state building, uh, we can make the argument that perhaps it didn't work as well. But, you know, we, we but we could, but, you know, this is a city that, um, for instance, with the old post office, which sat as a um, white forever. elephant uh, forever. And now it's the, it, it became the biggest adaptive reuse uh, project in the country. And now it's buzzing and it's adding new life to that part of the loop and to the, to the city. And something like that, I believe, can happen here if the state had it, had it in its will uh, to, to engineer that kind of possibility uh, into the building's future. Well, Jackie mentioned the issues, but I've known people who work there and they definitely say, you know, it's ice cold in the winter. It's burning up hot in the summer. They have pests running through there. I think we've had several stories that we did on bed bugs in that area, roaches, things like that. It's kind of a mess. You know, it, it is. And again, as a state building, if the state doesn't want it, and it clearly doesn't, and it, it moved away, fine. But, uh, but as, a, as a reused building, um, a developer can come in and obviously fix all that, all, all those problems. Um, I used to work at the old post office downtown in college. Uh, and I can tell you the things that ran through that building might not be don't, mentionable. Don't, don't the, mention it. Please, hours, but, please, please <laughs> don't, don't mention but, it. <laughs> don't, don't mention but, but, but they can be fixed. They can be they can be fixed. They yeah. can be fixed, but to who's you know who's gonna pay for that? Well, you know, this is why the state is, you know, obviously giving it to a developer. Um, you know, if a, if a developer is gonna tear the building down, uh, if the, well, if the if the developer, and we don't know the what's happening yet, but if according to the state's plans, a uh, developer is gonna buy the building, then incur the cost of that tricky demolition and build a new building. In, on its site, that's a lot of money. And so the idea of preserving this building, um, reusing it, I mean, whoever's gonna to touch this site uh, is gonna spend, you know, 900, a billion five easily, uh, if it goes according to plan, that money could easily be used uh, to restore the building, uh, to, get, to give it new use, or at least to investigate the restoration and reuse of this building. All right, Lee, I think we'll be talking to you again very <laughs> soon once we find out who this developer is. Thank you very much for joining us, Lee Bay. Thank you. Thank Coming you. up, how today's game four post.